Hey, future pros. You're watching Night Out Here. You fucking... Night Out Here with a new CSGO tricks video. The first trick comes from G2's Nico, who throws a one-way mid smoke that can be used across doors. Crucial, thinking nothing of it, suddenly gets killed from Nico with an M4. Nico aims above this dark smudge and left click throw while running coming out of spawn. He waits for the smoke to bloom before heading outdoors, where he uses the gap near the Xbox to look towards T spawn and he kills Crucial picking doors. From Crucial's POV, he can't spot Nico. Sanji on train with a sneaky beaky light play going halfway on the ladder, he spots the device crossing the stairs and he tries to flank the device. However, when he gets up the ladder, he spots Glaive and the ladder messes up his spray and Sanji is able to retreat safely. From device's POV, he's not able to spot Sanji. Matches on train smokes B connected from dumpster. He'll crouch and position himself to the left of these black dots on the edge of the dumpster. He'll stand, aims near the corner of the L, then jump throw. Axel is going to smoke Moto by standing next to pit wall, aims to the top right of this brick, then jump throw. It's a much quicker smoke than staying in the back corner, only problem is that you're exposing yourself to long wind jumping. However, it's a good way to re-smoke Moto. Nafi is going to molly ramp by getting alongside this wall, then he'll aim to the left of this wall here, in between these marks and left click throw. Careful in doing so when the one way smoke isn't up as you're exposed to sight. Shira's gonna molly goose by getting to the bottom corner of this box, aims to the top left of the pole, then left click throw. This molly is good as it spreads all of goose, however not in this round due to Shira miss throwing it, but pair this up with the Nafni ramp molly that you just seen to help clear those choke points when taking A. Nafni is gonna crouch through Gandalf to get to sight without being spotted from Nock, then he pops up and kills him. From Nock's POV, he was not able to spot Nafni crossing. Kadian smokes Haystack from mid wall, aiming at the left end antenna, then left click throw. This smoke blocks vision from the site players in order for them to do an abs pop. Tessis is going to show a nice HE nade for kitchen apartments after mauling to prevent and or slow the rush at the start of the round. He will jump spot after mauling to spot if anyone's close, and before the molly ends, he will throw the nade in case the enemy is waiting kitchen to explode. He'll line himself with the wall opposite of the boost. Aims here, runs one step and jump throw. The nade does roughly 130 in damage. I like this nade because it goes deeper into kitchen. NIP loses the bomb outside window and they're gonna boost over to peek towards CT spawn. Nock will spot Shiro and kill him. From Shiro's POV, he's unable to see Nock. Thomas with a banana flash that I've never seen before. He throws it from pool and as he's strafing to the right, he throws it. He positions himself to the left of pool, aims to the right of this building, pulls a pin, then as he is moving to the right, he will left click throw. The flash pops in the tree. It blinds all the angles in banana besides broom. It even flashes if you're behind half wall. Surreal shows us a one way smoke from the cold Zera box. While standing, aim above the left arrow. Then left click throw. This smoke will leave a gap for Surreal to peek to pit, killing Almanac. This smoke also allows Robin to get on top of the backside box to peek over the smoke towards balcony, getting a kill onto Nexa. Here's what the smoke looks like from pit. Nav with a pug play smoking a nading ramp, then pushing through the smoking behind the nade, using it to match his footsteps again to trophy as well as hoping the nade pushes back the tease. Heap does clear, however Nav gets the frag and will also get another onto force. Another player I've seen using this move is Chopper from Team Spirit. Liquid has ramp control and they want to take lower. Fallen's going to molly dark by crouching next to this coil and while remaining crouch, he aims at the top of this extinguisher then left click throw. In the clip it does show him standing up, but trust me, just remain crouched. He throws a one way yellow smoke by positioning himself to the left of this line on the box. He'll aim here, then left click throw. He makes his way to top yellow where you can see bottom of ramp. Stewie who is on yellow spots Heap and kills him. Here's Stewie's POV. Next I'm going to show you Team Liquid's vertical ramp control nades. Stu throws a one way smoke, then he throws a molly for top yellow through the deep CT smoke in order for Liquid to take ramp. 
He'll get flashed through by Fallen, where he gets the yellow behind the cover of smoke and he kills Heap. To throw Fallen's flash, he positions himself with the screw, then he aims at the bar to the right of this vent, walk one step and left click throw. The flash will blind Hawzerk, and Elish gets a kill through the smoke. Dignitas showing off the triple boost to the left of the box. This boost allows you to see more compared to the two player boost on the orange thing. Heap gets a kill on the stew yellow, then he falls off. Black Arrow is going to get boosted by Freiburg mid on the wood to peek over the box towards platform. Him and Freiburg show off great coordination as they're moving to the left to allow Lecro to clear that angle, killing Naf. Sticking with Lecro, he has a cheeky position on the mid ladder to spot the push by Team Liquid on an eco. He won't spot anyone early on and he comes up the ladder where he will get a 3k that I'm not going to show. From the mid overview with a 2 times zoom x-ray off, you can barely spot Lecro's head. JT with a back 6 smoke on train where he tucks himself in this corner, aims here, then will run under the zero on the sign and run past a wall and jump throw. Before we move on to the next trick, if you want to see the videos that didn't make this video like the smokes and tires throws, alongside many other tricks, join my discord, link is in the description box and comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. YouTube shows me that the past 28 days about 57% of you aren't subscribed so please hit that sub button for me. And check out my TikTok, Nart Out Here, where I post all my tricks from my YouTube videos. Extra Salt has a Molly B site execute on train where they Molly Connector, Summit, and in between Blue and Bomb Train. What's unique about this execute is the way they Molly Connector, where OC is running off of JT's head. Let's see how this is done. OC is gonna Molly Connect it by running off of JT's head. He stands in front of the rail, aims here, runs two steps, and jump throw. JT is going to molly between blue train and bomb train, he is also the bottom player who OC is running off of, and JT will align himself here with this tile. While standing, he aims here below the B, and once OC is off his head, he'll jump throw. The last molly comes from Marky who molly summit by winging it. The problem with this is that he explodes when he does so and he dies after. I'd recommend maybe throwing the upper smoke first beforehand to give him cover. Art's gonna show us that anytime you put out the T's window molly with the smoke, there could be a possible gap. He tries looking for one by jumping into the back wood where he has vision towards top mid. He spots Yell and he'll kill him. Furia have an X key where they take fast mid control. Exit has a nade where he gets onto the plank, aims at the orange to the left of the bar, left click throw which the nade goes through the window and does a lot of damage onto the Furia players. Refresh is gonna flash ram for Tessis. He aims near the bottom left corner of this square, then jump throw. This is the most common ramp flash in the pro scene. After getting the kill into Cadian, just will smoke right side bomb by getting on the corner of this ivy wall, aims in between these two circles, then left click throw. This smoke is risky to throw because if CTs decide to aggress ivy, then you're dead. G2 smokes Bracken and Valde gets boosted by Matu to peek over the smoke to see towards Porch. He'll find the kill into Nico. This isn't a new boost, but I would love to see this boost used more often in the pro scene, seeing how effective it can be. I like to be showing us a nice one way smoke on A site Dust 2, where he crouches behind these bags, left click throw above this mark right before Shraws crosses to ramp, and Alexi will jump into the bag and then onto the box edge where he has a nice one way. He's gonna also molly ramp to delay Astralis and he dodges their flashes and gets 2 kills. Many other players are also using this smoke like matches from Team Spirit. He follows up with a ramp molly and he gets a nice 2k. Another smoke to deal with a long A push into ramp is to smoke off these containers. We've seen Simple throw a similar smoke which the purpose of the smoke is to give you space to work with. Complexity Molly Gandalf and had the smoke not been up then Seriously would be stuck Gandalf 
seeing how Tapson would have extinguished it instead of throwing their smoke. Tapson and Searson are able to shut down Cole's long push into sight by playing around this smoke. Another smoke you can throw to give you space and cover if you wanted to fight from Gandalf is to have your CD player underhand the Avangard smoke. Roland will stay close to the smoke and he uses it as cover as he and Fnatic shut down Astralis' A take from long. This is quite funny to see because CTs are throwing the smoke as Ts are usually the ones throwing it. Now onto a car one way smoke to stop the A push from short. Searson will underhand the smoke near the car, then he gets on top of the car to peek over the smoke and he kills a run boosted breeze, then picks off Cirque and he gets flyer so he gets down and takes cover, his teammates will get the last kill into Stan. Besides acting as a one way, the smoke gives you cover if you get flashed so you can get down from the car and wait to recover and re-peek, or wait for a teammate's flash then re-peek. You don't have to be near the car to throw the smoke. Zori's gonna throw it from long for X7, however it doesn't go as far. X7 waits to get behind the smoke onto the car because Dignitas are spraying at this area. X7 peeks above the smoke and he gets the kill into Lecro before being traded out by Forrest. I think Forrest gets a lucky kill into X7 spraying the smoke because I can't spot X7 from his POV. Alexa B throws the one way ledge smoke from Xbox. While standing, he positions himself here then using the top left tip of his smoke, aim below to the top left of this mark on the wall, then left click throw. The smoke doesn't leave the one way as it usually does if thrown from short. OG uses smoke to fake short to pull rotation while they hit B. Tis in with another way to throw the ledge smoke but from outside long A, where he lines himself with this mark on the wall, aims in the middle of the right ditch, then jump throw. This smoke compared to the Lex B smoke does give you the one way and Big uses smoke to split A. Nico smokes short from Team and Mirage by getting alongside this wall, aims here, then jump throw. This smoke is used for a B pop and also allows Nico to lurk up short. Big on their T pistol boosts at long A to peek to spot if anyone's behind the car. Centaurus spots Fang and Big Molly him out however he kills Centaurus before being traded out. I would love to see this boost being used more on an anti-eco. A round later, Tapson shows us how to molly car corner by getting on top of this barrel. While standing, aims above this keypad then jump throw. This molly covers a lot of the area however it won't cover the front passenger side if a CT is crouched behind it so that's when the boost can come in. Extra salt on their CT side nuke has a top garage one way smoke. OC jumps onto credit card and onto garage where he uses smoke as cover. Searson on marshmallow spots it however he's not going to fall victim to it. JT is the one throwing the smoke and he's going to run past the CT red until he sees this yellow handle to the left. He will aim to the left of this wall ahead of him, above the line and then he'll jump throw. The smoke will get stuck on the garage ledge giving a one way. OC will jump on top and he uses the smoke as cover to peak marshmallow. However Season doesn't give him a chance to get the kill. Lycro is going to molly top ivy inside top ladder room in order for Dig to retake ramp. He crouches in positions with this box on the wall here then while remaining crouch, aims here then jump throw. This isn't a new molly but I wanted to show it since I find it unique and haven't covered it yet. The windows need to be intact for this molly to work. Nice play by Shira on Eco. buys a Zeus and waits outside boiler. He closes the distance and kills refresh. Haroka again to execute the B bomb side Inferno and Hobbit makes a great play by dropping his smoke in front and to the right of Nubox. He uses it to sneak around to second oranges and he kills Shush. He falls back to Nubox, watches for the top second orange jump up and as time runs down, Tessus needs to make a play. Hobbit delays him by playing around the smoke and as the smoke fades, Hobbit kills him. Slowly smokes bank by positioning himself at the neck of the lamp shadow. He originally crouches, aims top left of this pawn, then stands up. However, he changes his lineup then left clicks the smoke. Afterwards, he throws sight flashes. I like this smoke as it doesn't require you to cross over behind boost to smoke bank. 
With the bank smokes, you should always be careful because if you throw it wrong, it can leave a one way for the CTs. Zori smokes jump up and Molly's truck from this corner at long. He aims top right of this brick, then jump throw. For the truck Molly, he's going to aim at these set of leaves and he will run a left click throw when he hits the bottom set of these leaves here. Before we go into the next trick, I have to show you JKS who tries to throw Rush's top connector smoke from spawn. Even Rush has a hard time with this smoke. It's a very tricky smoke. JKS is going to miss it this round. Jerry will show us how to throw a much easier top connector smoke next to the garbage can. You'll stand to the left of it, aim above this window frame while crouch, move forward until you hit the rail and jump throw. Granted, the smoke doesn't land in the middle, but it still does its job and blocks the whole doorway. Almazair smokes deep apartments of Mirage, standing next to this wall, aims here, then left click throw while standing. Forcey's gonna triple boost in CT spawn that's designated for Kicker, who does the run jump throw short molly. In the round prior, Forzy do the same boost, however, Zorty this time around catches Jame slipping off the 4 player boost. Jame takes one for Kicker in this round because even if they didn't boost, Kicker would be dead, which you saw earlier. JT smokes deep ramp by standing default and walk jump throwing the smoke off the beam. He's gonna be aiming to the right of this yellow thing. He will walk two steps while standing and then jump throw. Alma's air smokes porch by getting inside this corner, aims here, and he will walk over the bump, then will jump throw. Flit has a one way smoke apps by staying on the back wall, aims here, then left click throw. He is able to see under his smoke. You could tell this is an obvious one way smoke, and he won't get a kill here with it because JKS peeks from the window side, and he could see through it by crouching. Jerry smokes left side CT mid from spawn by positioning himself with this wall, aims here, then will run and jump throw when he hits this mark here. This smoke in tandem with the CT cross smoke gives Forzy a fast way out through double doors, blocking vision to the left allowing Almazar to peek towards CT spawn, getting a kill into config. Poison attempts to get a pick at the doors however he's going to get smoked out by the smoke Jerry threw. Zori gets on top of X7's head to pick short when Dinkatas are going to take control. Why this boost is better than the ledge for your AWPer as you're farther away from the flash, designate for the ledge, making the flash less effective. Complexity are on Eco and they're going to make a wall of smokes by smoking corner of A site as well as the middle of A ramp as big as trying to cross the ramp. The smokes delay them and eventually they try going through smokes which calls shut them down. As you can see here there is a gap to the left of the mid ramp smoke. So be careful. There's no special lineup for the A site quarter smoke. Rush will just wing it by underhand throwing it. As for the A ramp smoke, Blame F just bounces a left click throw off the wall. When you get the two smokes up, you can play behind the smokes, use them as cover, punish the opposing team for trying to go through them. Stan is going to smoke mid double doors from behind single, aims at this line, then jump throw. Glaive is going to shoot the windows as Ziftix throws his pop flash to mass the noise and then Glaive follows up with another flash and drops with it and kills a blind Sanji. Ziftix stands next to the wall, next to the pipe, crouches, aims at the vent dot, then underhand throw as Glaive is popping the windows. That's the end of the video. If you want to see more tricks, join my Discord where I post a new video every day. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and give the video a like to help the algorithm. Till next time, not out here, peace.